Hey there, guys, and welcome to, yes, another new LP. Uh, so Sims 3, Lucky Palms. Um, it says, with ample parks, recreation opportunities, and a thriving culinary scene, Lucky Palms is an island of green amid shifting sands. This desert enclave offers manicured gardens, modern estates, and cozy abodes nestled on the banks of a pristine lake. At the heart of town, a mystery, mysterious well is said to grant wishes to those who are pure of heart. What will you wish for? Dun dun dun. This is going to be fun. Um, okay, so I'm going to basically create a woman named Becky, w Becky. Becca West. And, um, yeah, she pretty much wants to own the town, but she has a bit of a gambling problem. <laughs> so, we'll see if she goes broke at the casino, or becomes rich. So. We shall see, we shall see. Oh, and for those of you that don't know me, I'm Ribbit Rabbit 20 and you can call me Rabbit if you want. I do LPs of The Sims 2, The Sims 3, Many Neighborhoods, and The Sims Medieval plus Pirates and Nobles. So, um, I try to put out as many videos as I possibly can for all of you because I have, I, I do work, so... I try to put out at least three videos a day for you guys, so you honestly cannot ex- don't expect me to put out more than three videos a day, because uh, I honestly think three videos a day is quite a lot, and that's about all that I can put out in a day. I mean, yesterday I did put out four videos, but that's because two of them were kind of short. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the neighborhood. It's so pretty. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. Yeah, there's like a whole lot of like empty lots here. Uh, this one actually. This one is actually made for the casino specifically. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Alrighty. Now we're heading in to create a household. Um, this did come with two outfits, I believe. One for the men and one for the women. And my cord is stuck under the wheel of my chair. That's just bad. <laughs> oh, I don't even know how that happened. But I'm going to quickly show you the outfits that came with this. If it will load a bit faster. And I just saw a lot of Katy Perry stuff. Holy crap. <laughs> Come on, stop loading. Too much content. Way too much content. I've been spending way too much time in Creator Sim. Um, where is it? Oh, here it is. We get this lovely dress. And uh, one with the little flower prints. It definitely screams like... Retro. I love it. It's so cute. And men also have one outfit. Oui. Duh. Dude, those shoes don't go with that outfit. <laughs> I promise they don't go together. <sighs> oh, um, that's from Hidden Springs, I think. This is the outfit that the men get. It, it's like a turtleneck with a blazer. It's, it's also pretty retro. 
pretty sure that's um, the vibe they're more or less going for when they were making this. Becca West. God, she's muscular. That works. All right. Hair. Hair. Oh, come on. Don't be stupid. Come in. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Um. <laughs> Katy Perry here. I can honestly say that I have never used any of these in my gameplay. None of them whatsoever. But that's because I haven't had it for that long. But. Um. Oh, this was actually gifted to me by somebody. I I, I think it was Cookie. <coughs> I think it was Cookie. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, but thank you for the gift. I'm pretty sure I thanked you online already. But I love this hairstyle. I think we're gonna give her this hairstyle. But we're gonna um change the color of the bow something a little brighter Let's make it purple well not that purple but okay now it just looks pink um well, let's just start off with white, shall we? Um... Oh, I don't know. Nah. Come on. Ugh, my game is so stupid. I hate my computer. Okay. Oh. God, why am I always so damn tired? Alright, I'm just gonna skip all this. I'll show you guys the end product. Alrighty, gang. This is her everyday attire. Um... The uh, hairstyle did come from the store. Somebody gifted it to me and asked if I would use it in one of my LPs. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, uh, her dress did come from the store as well. I purchased that for myself like a long time ago. Uh, the shoes, um, I want to say they came with one of the expansion packs. I think. Now, if only, you know, things would load. Drag, drag. This is her formal wear. This is the dress that came with Lucky Palms. Um, I was kind of going for, like, the retro feel with the boots and the dress. I think they look amazing together. Um, her sleepwear. Uh, I believe I did choose Master Sweet. Yep. Uh, this pretty purple ensemble. And I'm just now noticing that uh, this isn't literally like see-through at the bottom. That's literally just a pattern that's on the front, like a stencil. So, <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> Her athletic wear. 
It was just something more or less. I kind of tossed it together. Go. Katy Perry shirt, base game pants and shoes. That's about it. Um, dropped my mouse, and uh, I gave her the bathing suit, the bikini that came with diesel stuff. So, and now her traits. She will be. Well, I definitely want to make her lucky. She will be lucky. Um. Lucky. Excuse me. Burped a little. Uh. She can be. Nah. Um. Um, I don't want to give her the dislikes children one, but, um, we can make her excitable. Um, do 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 do. Hopeless romantic. She can be... A mooch. <laughs> and she can also be um let's have her be a s social butterfly maybe? Nah, let's make her a vegetarian. And, uh, let's see. Living in the lap of luxury. Have household net worth of 100,000 simoleons. That works for me. Her favorite food can be... Fried peanut butter and jelly. I know I like fried peanut butter and jelly. Well, I don't fry my... Mom. Peanut butter and banana sandwich. I love peanut butter and banana sandwiches. I love, 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 love them. Absolutely love them. Um, people think that's kind of gross, though, when I say that I eat that. But I don't care. So it's my food, it's my mouth, my stomach. I'll have to live with the way it treats my body. And it doesn't treat my body badly, so I'm good with that. I know there aren't that many starter homes. There's like two over here. Uh, I had a sim live in this one once. What does this one look like? The Sandy Knoll Retreat. <coughs> Sounds interesting. This is so freaking tiny. Oh my god. And it's also really far away from everything. Um, <coughs> we have a park bench in our house and a couch outside. Yeah, uh, switch those. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. I know there's one over here. And there's one right here. The mid-century, not at all modern. <laughs> It's uh, very small, but it's got a lot of room on it, on the property. And like one giant palm tree. <laughs> Come on, load! Thank you. Yeah, I don't like how this wall thing here does not go down. But we've got a living room, a kitchen dining room, a bedroom, and a bathroom. So I think we're going to choose this one. We will buy it furnished. We have th <laughs> 344 simoleons. Dear God. Oh. And uh, we shall uh, try to do some. I want to get our like a part-time job. Um, probably like at the bookstore or something. Oh, she wants to join the culinary career. 
Sure, we can do that. Actually, there's a restaurant right here. The desert... dessert... no, desert diner. So we're gonna join the culinary career. Because, for some reason, she really wants to. And then we're gonna visit the lucky Samoan casino. And try our hand at something. So. Are you going or what, lady? Yeesh. Uh, that's like a, the community garden right there that we just went by. And this is the uh, the desert diner. It's so cute and small. I love it. Ow. I really don't like, though, how with the diner you don't get the option to eat outside even though they put tables there. They put tables outside, but you only get the option to eat outside at the bistro. Which kind of sucks. She wants to talk about her new job. Becca's boss is Roman Tanner. Here's Roman. Uh, learn the cooking skill. You're not taking a class in. I don't understand why every time I promise my sim to learn out a new skill, they always want to take a class in it. It's a bit annoying, really. At least to my uh, my opinion, it's kind of annoying. But and here is the lucky simoleon. Such a lovely place. I love this place. We've got this awesome fountain thing over here. It's pretty cool. Bleh. Come on! Really? Alright, um, let's see. I'm gonna send her over here to a slot machine. We're gonna play for low stakes. And see if we can win anything. I hope we do, because that would be awesome. Come on. <laughs> Nothing. So she kicks it to get her money back. Or five bucks back there. Yeah, whatever. Didn't win nothing. Still didn't win anything. Got some money back because she kicked the machine. Come on, you're supposed to be lucky here, lady. Oh, we just won 46 simoleons. Sweet. She wants to be worth more than 25,000. Right now, I guess we're worth 16,450. So. Oh, there goes our boss, Roman Tanner. And, uh, I'm assuming his wife, Aya Tanner. When she gets a, a higher level skill of, uh, gambling and we have more money, I'm gonna have her go play at the blackjack table. But, um, right now we can only do the 100... 100 simoleon buy-in, which really isn't that much, but... Oh, she got her gambling to level 1. Sweet. Why do you want to learn the gardening skill, you crazy? I can give you no trait that makes you want that. I'm kind of hoping we hit, like, a giant jackpot. Oh, we got 24 simoleons right there. Aww. Right now we have 100 simoleons for available funds, and we're only doing 5 simoleon bets. So, um, level 2 gambling. Come on, everyone else is winning. Why can't we win on, like, big? Boo. She actually needs to work on her cooking skill some, but I think once we get her gambling skill to level 3, we can, we'll send her to like the library. Holy crap, we got 78 simoleons from that. Holy crap. 
We are definitely making some money here on the slot machine. Okay, we're at level three now. So I think we're just gonna... We're gonna send her to a library. And she made 143 simoleons off that slot machine. Holy crap. So let's send her over here to the library. The Grand Canyon Community Library. Excuse me. I'm sorry guys, I, I burp a lot. I don't know why. I just do. We can sit on the fountain and we can look at it. We can't do nothing else with it though. <laughs> That's the library right there. And it is right next door to the school, which is right there. That's the school. Okay, we need to learn some cooking skills. So let's find a bookshelf that's got skill books inside it. Um, nope. 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 Hmm. Do I really have to go all the way upstairs? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. We're just gonna read that till she gets her skill to level one. And then I think we will... 10 p.m. What? That's absurd. It should not take five hours to learn one cooking skill. Oh my god. Okay, well, while she's doing that, um, when she's done doing that, we're gonna have her go home and use the toilet, serve some salad, then she can eat the salad. And, um, it is quite a lovely sunset view, I might say. The sun is setting somewhere over here. Pretty sure it's already gone from the sky, but... It's very pretty. Oh, I love the little kitty area over here. It's so cute. I hear somebody playing on the computer. Somewhere. I think. Well, this Oscar Arellano is over there reading, but I swear I heard someone on a computer. Oh, here's someone on the computer. I don't know how to say their name, though. Oh, yay, she gained the, the cooking skill point. She learned how to cook. Yay. So proud of you, Becca. You learned how to cook. Something. Kind of. You're not a natural cook yet, so I'm not letting you touch the stove, but... <laughs> I mean, even it, it, even if your sim isn't a natural cook and they're even level 10 chef or level 10 cooking, they can still burn the food and still set the house on fire. It's not inevitable unless you get the lifetime wish to make your 
homestead completely fireproof, but you know. That is one funky bed sheet, and that is one crazy lamp right there. Holy crap. What time does the carpool come? Oh, they don't come until, like, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That's good. You know, it's only, like, 9 o'clock at night. Now we're just gonna be making some salad. Salad. That wall thing is annoying as hell. Oh, I need. I should have bought her a f table to eat at. Tiny room. Table. No, those chairs don't go with it. Um. Actually, I'm going to give her the table that came with this. Now we have, like, no money. Now we really have no money! We have 22 simoleons! <laughs> we have enough money for the one chair and the one table. Pretty sure that's the table that came with it. Yes, eat your salad. And then put away the leftovers and go to bed. Because you are tired. Eat! Jeez! Yeah, I know you're tired, but you gotta put the food away before it goes bad. Because if it goes bad, you can't eat it. Well, you could eat it, but it'll make you sick. If you did eat it. But anyway, this is the end of part one. Please remember to subscribe, comment, and rate. You can follow me on Twitter, Daily Booth, Google+. Plus. Uh, check out my WordPress page and send me your friend requests on sims3.com. All links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.